Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This particular topic radioactivity is super simple yet as in the competitive exams and even more surprising many of you either don't prepare this or somehow get this wrong. It's pretty straightforward, will take up very less amount of your time, very frequently asked in the exam and very easy to learn as well. So let's see how we do these questions. Uh, I'm not going to just tell you about this particular question, but I'm going to give you a crux of radioactivity. What are the different forms of uh, decay, radioactive decay and uh, what changes in them. Okay. So just follow me, follow me along in this particular question. This is from your CSR exam, I think um, 2022, okay, June 2022 or whenever it happened in 2022. Um, so uh, before we get started, some basics. This over here 234 is nothing but my mass number. Okay, this is my mass number and mass number is comprised of the sum of neutrons and protons, right? And then this 90 over here is my atomic number. Okay, this basically is comprised of the number of protons. So atomic number basically tells me the number of protons. Mass number tells me the, uh, the sum of neutrons and protons. Now let's talk about the radioactive decay. So there are basically five kinds of decays. Okay, one is your alpha decay. In alpha decay, what happens uh, from this chart, it might be a little difficult to understand. So I've taken some examples over here to show it to you. So in 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 an alpha emission, what happens is that your uh, whatever nucleus is there. Okay, that nucleus basically le le leads to removal of two protons and two two neutrons. Okay, two protons are removed and two neutrons are removed basically. Okay, so what will happen if two protons and two neutrons are removed? We can say a helium nucleus is going to be removed, which has a charge of plus two. Okay, it will have a charge of plus two because there is nothing to balance these two protons. So neutrons are neutral and protons are positively charged, but no electrons are getting emitted. So here there will be a charge of plus two. Okay, so two protons and two, two neutrons. So the mass number will change by four. So I told you, in the earlier slide also that your um, your mass number is sum of protons and neutrons. Okay, so your uh, mass number will change by four. So you can see from 235, we have gone to 231 and your atomic number will change by two because it is leading to emission of two protons. Okay, so you can see your atomic number has reduced by two and mass number has reduced by four. This is what is depicted over here in alpha decay. You can see that we have a decrease of four in the mass number and decrease of two in the atomic number straightforward so this is what is your alpha decay now the next over here this is an example for beta emission or a beta decay so what happens in a beta decay basically it leads to and you can see over here from a atom there's no change in the mass number the atomic number changes from six to seven that means there's a gain so that means there's a gain of proton there is a gain of proton. Uh, I can write over here gain of proton. So how does that happen? Basically, one of the neutrons gets converted to protons. So if one of the neutrons gets converted into proton, what will happen? See, the, nu the neutron within this particular nucleus gets converted to proton. So that means if a neutron is getting converted into proton, mass number will remain same because mass number is the sum of neutrons and protons. So one of the neutrons of the nucleus is getting converted to proton. So the mass number is going to remain the same. But because the number of protons will increase, hence the atomic number will, uh, will be added by plus one. And there will be emission of this, which is called as a beta particle. Beta particle basically has mass of an electron with a charge of minus one. Then we have a gamma decay. Okay, gamma, D, gamma decay is nothing but basically um, emission of uh, energy. Okay, so there is no change in the uh, mass number or the atomic number. It's just that you have a change, you have a energy emitted. So gamma particle is nothing but some sort of energy. Okay, it's some sort of a radiation. So that is your gamma particle. Then there are two other uh, sorts of decay. One is called as positron emission. Okay, so what is a po positron emission? Positron emission is depicted over here. This is nothing but an electron with a plus one charge. Okay, electron, mass of electron with a plus one charge, not an electron, a mass of electron. This is called a positron. Okay, this is called as a positron. 
it is basically having a mass of electron but it has a plus one charge it's basically opposite of what you saw in the beta particle and now over here what is happening earlier we saw there was a gain of proton here there is a gain of neutron what i mean by that is gain of neutron is basically when a proton interconverts into neutron so the proton of the nucleus gets converted into neutron so when that happens what hap what will be the mass number mass number will remain unaffected because a proton is getting from the nucleus is getting converted to neutron okay so there is no change in the uh, mass number but over here the atomic no number reduces by one in this case in the case of beta particle it was getting added by one here it is getting reduced by one why because the proton is getting converted into neutron so we are having one means one proton is getting reduced or is it since it is getting converted into the neutron number of protons are going to decrease by one that is why you will see from here from eight it has gone down to seven okay the mass number remains same here also we can see the mass number remains same uh, and the uh, atomic number has gone by reduced by one here also mass number is also same so this is your po positron emission okay you, it's very easy to understand i don't see any difficulty that you might encounter over here so just give it 5 10 15 minutes and re revise it as we go through the video the last one over here is electron capture and they are very intuitive okay as the name suggests electron capture one of the inertial electrons from the uh, from the atom gets embedded into the nucleus okay one of the inertial electrons gets embedded into the nucleus so once that happens so basically a proton and an electron will combine together to give us a neutron okay so here also basically you are having so a electron and a proton are getting uh, you can say sort of like fusing together a proton and electron are fusing together to give us a neutron so, <clears throat> so over here also your proton is getting converted to neutron proton is getting converted to neutron and uh, uh, and this will happen so the mass number is going to remain the same so the mass number over here is going to remain the same but the atomic number is going to reduce because proton is getting converted into neutron so you can see from 19 we have got 18 over here okay and the mass number remains the same from 40 to 40. Uh, one thing that you should uh, remember over here is again we'll have some energy loss over here okay there will be some energy that is going to be radiated so there's no particle that is going to be radiated in this particular case but energy is going to be radiated so in gamma decay and also in the case of electron capture energy is radiated whereas in these three cases alpha particle beta particle and positron emission some particle is also going to be radiated in gamma and in electron capture energy is radiated here the, this this is an internal electron of the at atom only which has been consumed by the nucleus okay. all right so let's do this particular question uh, for the following nuclear decay series segment uh, the overall emitted particles are so let's see what is the change so the change is that from 234 we have gone down to 230 so there's a change in the mass number and you know that mass number only changes in alpha decay and how much the mass number changes by 4 so that means definitely a alpha emission has taken place so we can see alpha emission has definitely or alpha decay has definitely taken place and alpha particle has been removed but once an al alpha particle is removed you know the mass number changes by four and the atomic number changes by two but if we let's say from here the alpha particle emission took place then we would get some nucleus which will have a mass number of 230 and it will have a atomic number or sorry, uh, 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 an atomic number of 88 but we see that finally it has 90 so that means certain protons uh, sorry certain neutrons are getting converted to proton and you know that when a neutron gets converted to a proton what sort of emission takes place it's it's a beta particle you can see over here also here there's a gain in the atomic number when a beta decay takes place so basically two times if a beta decay takes place once over here and once over here the mass number will gain by plus one we'll get 89 over here and then again plus one we will get 90 over here so that means uh, we have two beta particle emission and one alpha so this is your this option two beta and one alpha um, i will try and find rest of the questions which have the concept of radioactivity and uh, yeah and then I'll, I'll try and present to you maybe in the coming videos 
i hope this concept is clear if you have any doubts whatsoever please let me know down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out um and if i have made any mistake again you can let me know in the comment section i'll try to clarify it to whatever extent possible okay or rectify it to whatever extent that is possible so anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up um and yeah do try and share this video with your friends if you find it uh useful uh yeah that's about it so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye